Well, hello everyone. This is Mod. He's got a bit of a cold. He does? Well, he does if he sounds like me, at least. It could be worse. It could be 40 40. Hi, I'm 40 40. I'm coming to you, Sunderland, Barry White. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, anyway, we are doing something a little bit different today. Uh, Mod running out of things to say in his little uh, Euro Truck blog decided to say, hey, why don't you come on and do all the talking instead and I can do some driving? <laughs> I can't really disagree with that one, mate. <laughs> so, happy to oblige. Here I am. I haven't played this for a while, and my uh, my parking is atrocious. I'm recording this just basically, I think, to give people some laughs. So, I am... Let's bring up the map. I am down here in Zurich, and where are you, good sir? I am in, if I'm pronouncing it right, Lodz. L-O-D-Z, Lodz. In the middle, smack bang in the middle of Poland. Which is right over there. So, we're about a continent apart. So I don't think we're going to be doing a convoy today. Sadly not. No, but uh, I'm going to pick up a job. Mod is going to pick up a job, and we're going to have a chat while driving around. At least that's the plan. So, let's have a quick look at the freight market. I'd love to get one of these Christmas jobs, because I've almost completed this, uh, this task. Um, it is possible if you do, what was it, it's about 4,000 miles, isn't it? 4,000 kilometres. Um, 4,443 kilometres or 2,760 miles. Yeah, of uh, delivery of these Xmas gifts um, packages, which is, what is it? It, that's the distance from uh, the Euro Truck developers headquarters to the North Pole. Then you get some, some extra skins. So I've been running around doing these. I'm about 78% about done at the moment. Uh, which I'm quite happy with. But there doesn't seem to be any of those nearby. So rather than just drive around, I'm going to pick up a job and see where it takes me. And I'd like to go east if I can. And Nuremberg. Nuremberg is to the east of me. Everything else isn't by the looks of it. I'm going to head to Stuttgart, I think, because there's a gift job there. And oh my God, it's busy here. Oh, well, Zurich is almost empty, to be honest with you. Stuttgart. Where is Stuttgart? That's uh, almost across the continent, isn't it? It shouldn't be too far from Zurich, I don't think. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, yes, Stuttgart. Where are we, Stuttgart? Yeah, um, yes, it's a, it's a, a couple of... Um... Okay, I'm going to take that Nuremberg job then. And, well, I'm pretty much stay in the area, and I can more or less meet you there. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get there. Hopefully. Yes. At least... Ah, it's only a continent away. I've seen how you drive. It won't take you too long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to thank you for that one or not. <laughs> Ooh, this, just to mention for everybody at home, this is a slightly different winter mod to the one I usually use. I usually use the one by Dalibor and the other chap whose name I forget. This one's different. It's not quite as good, I think, actually, having seen the one on your channel. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not that bad. It looks wintry. There's icicles hanging from the lampposts. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, um, we're both, we are both ardent lovers of Christmas, so uh, I think the less say that we say about that one, the better, until we... And otherwise, we're going to spend the next half hour just griping each other. Yeah, all I can see on the back of a till is Merry Christmas. Lovely. I wish I'd seen that one when I made people vote for the, what the new livery was going to be for the Christmas period. <laughs> yeah, that was rather unfortunate. All half oh, that's not gone. You first, sir. Gone. Okay, I was just thinking, I just noticed a little bug. You know, none of the traffic lights seem to have their uh, lights working correctly. All I can see is um, the reflected lights. Oh. Which is a little bit of a problem. I can see the lights fine. Oh, okay. It's something personal then, okay. Game doesn't like you. Many people don't, it's quite okay. I can, I can live with that, I don't know about you. Because I don't like them back. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing on your, um, your uh, Xmas deliveries challenge? How far have you got so I've far? I've got 31% of the way through. Ah, it's not bad. The only problem I've really got is I thought it'd be a lot more easier to find Christmas jobs, but they're all scattered all over the place, and as you know, I only ever play when I'm recording. So, yes. uh, 
I've got a lot of work to do to complete the distance, and I don't want to do this off camera if I'm honest, but I've got a nasty feeling I'm going to have to if I want to get that livery. Yeah, I think you might. I think you might be right. I mean, I've uh, I'm what seventy-eight percent in, so that's that's about two thousand miles, and I've travelled about four thousand miles doing it. Just a bit then. So, yeah. So it's it's uh, you know, do a delivery, look around the continent for another delivery, run over there, do another delivery, look around the continent for it. It's uh, it's been a lot of driving. So let's take this one to Nuremberg. I don't know why, but you got me wanting to break out into song. <laughs> uh, I have this nice shiny five pound note for you if you don't. Oh, but it's a big break theme tune. <laughs> well, you go, you go with what you feel like. I'm biting um, my tongue. I'm, I'm biting my tongue. Yeah, that's uh, quite all right. I've I've got these. Uh, I've got these uh, noise reducing earbuds here, so you just carry on. I mean, I, that's, that's actually unfair. I don't think I've ever heard you sing, to be honest with you, but uh, that's, I've heard me sing, and that's bad well, enough. Well, I think what happens is you happen to have this premonition of mods going to sing, I'll just change the channel! <laughs> yes. That'd do wonders for our views. I will refrain this time. I wouldn't want to go torturing <laughs> your viewers as well as my own. Uh, and people actually, it's 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 quite worrying. I mean, people keep encouraging me to sing. I've got to assume that it's because they're masochists. We should do that. Uh, mm -mm. Yes, modern Simon break windows. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. All of a sudden, I'm thinking Monty Python. <laughs> I've got this feeling. I want to sing. No, no, no. Well, I've done that. Yeah, none of that. No singing here. No, no. I'm singing. Yes. Yes, so we can do it while eating ham and jam and spam a lot. Why not? Eek. Eek. Well, that's a good start. Uh -oh. Start off by taking a corner too fast and hitting uh, hitting the the, uh, the centre divide. Always a good start. It's it's actually worth actually this is worth pointing out. I don't have a driver's license. For real? Oh. For real. I don't drive. Um, I, I took some rather nasty spinal injury a few years back and uh, um, after recovering from that I, I never really trusted my hand-eye coordination Ooh, that's... so don't do that so here I am playing Euro Truck Simulator driving across Europe with no actual driving experience I was kicked from the game my ping is too high oh I had that one early on as well why is my ping too high my internet's fantastic it's fabulous darling uh, I was kicked from the game. Reason? Too high averaged ping. It doesn't like us. Yes. Well, if it's both of us, I've got to assume it's something... Uh, yes. Well, I'm just going to carry on with this delivery. I uh, presume you're going to carry on with your delivery and uh, we'll chat. I'm carrying on. Where were you aiming to, anyway? Hmm. I forgot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to um, Nuremberg. Ah, yes. How close is that to Stuttgart? It's uh, about a city away. Not that it matters, because we've both been kicked. We could probably relog, and by relog, I mean restart the entire client, which is not so yes. ideal. Let's be honest. Well, alpha is as alpha does. Let's be honest. On the plus side, it means we've got the roads all to ourselves, and no one's going to drive into Indeed. us. Indeed. I mean, let's face it. This is trucker's heaven, really, isn't it? Uh, every every lorry driver I've met does, in their their soul of souls, believe that. The roads would be so much better if they removed every driver apart from themselves. <laughs> Just looking, and the moon looks all right, but then slightly to the left of the moon, you got the sun. It looks like it's a great big disco ball. <laughs> Are you seeing that yourself? <laughs> um, I've seen the moon here, and I yeah. I would see the sun. Oh yeah, I could see the sun. Yeah. Um, this is, worth pointing out, very, 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 very alpha. Mm. I appreciate the fact they're putting on free and everything. I do. Mm. And it is very much an alpha release. Very much so. I was actually just saying, you won't have seen it because at the time of recording this, Thursday's episode won't have gone up. But I did give the guys who do the multiplayer mod a great big... Give them a big thumbs up, guys. They're awesome. Give them some love. Yeah. They need some love. Apart from when they leave the bloody speed limiter on. 
<laughs> Come on! Yeah, the last. <laughs> on the plus side, not crappy. Yeah. Right. Yet. Yes, it, it, it must be. It must be hard for you not be doing doing eighty. But, uh... It's frustrating. I'll be honest, mate. But um, <laughs> oh. you know. <laughs> I know. Uh, um, no, it's, it's going with what you're used to and being hobbled is never fun. But uh, I, on the other hand, uh, the, the the first time I played this game, I think the first couple of hours, I was afraid to do anything above thirty. Really? Yeah. Well, as I said, I'm not a driver, so. Ah. Uh, eek! Other traffic. Eek! Walls. Eek! The AI is crap. Hasn't the AI uh, improved so much since the early days? Yes, absolutely. Um. One thing I have noticed about the AI is it's actually um, they've introduced badness. They've introduced poor quality driving into the yeah, AI. Yeah, I noticed that on myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I was uh, just playing this this morning a little bit, just warming up um, before you, you we, uh, we we came on together, and I, I noticed a, a, a traffic accident which I wasn't involved in, which. I think it's almost too I had that happen myself actually about a week ago and I'm just driving mm. along there's um, a car and a couple of lorries it looks like the car's tried to overtake the lorry got it wrong and clipped the lorry the lorry's gone and jackknifed ooh ouch and I'm like right I'm going a bit fast here about I don't know 80 <laughs> so I decided to eat dirt yeah oh actually I remember that that was like uh, yeah yes. ah, yes, I remember that now. go away go away <laughs> oh, dear. oh shit! I'm actually gonna have to stop for a second. There's a horrible pop-up on my screen for Adware. Horribly invasive. I don't know why I don't un uninstall it. Yeah, it doesn't really help much, does it? No. And it appears I'm running out of fuel. Oh, I've got 175 miles worth of fuel. I'm not gonna panic about that one too much. It'd be fine, I think. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. I always get out and push. You mean, why don't you just set your feet through the floor, Fred Flintstone style? Yes. Yeah, but I do. Had to be done. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. If we're gonna do this, we've got to ask the obvious question. All right. Which one was sexier, Wilma or Betty? Betty? Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wilma was more traditionally attractive, but Betty was cuter. We, you do realise we're talking about prehistoric cartoon ladies here, right? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, anyone who's used to my 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 channel, especially my live streams, is probably thinking, "Yeah, this is about par." Okay, so long as you're not used to this, <laughs> um, I think they throw their hands up with despair from time to time, which I can understand. It's actually really nice having the uh, the roads to oneself because, quite frankly, I'm probably crossing about three lanes as I'm driving down here. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just following the red line on my sat nav. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's uh, that is this game really, isn't it? You take a job, you follow the red line. You take another job, you follow the red line. You try not to crash into something while doing. But at doing the same it. time, you make this game what you want to make of it, and you don't have to take jobs anywhere. Yes, and you don't have to take the great big long ones, and you don't have to follow the red line. In fact, I found sometimes it's sometimes optimal to ignore the red line. Cause sometimes it'll send you down country lanes, and I'm just like, no, I hate hmm. country lanes. I'm sticking to the motorways. It might cost you an extra half an hour, but the the risk of penalties if you go down the country lane to me for hitting somebody or getting stuck behind traffic or traffic getting stuck behind you as you're going up a hill and then overtaking you or even crossing that line into the next lane. Yes. Not least to mention the unexpected level crossing. Which almost happened to me today. Oh, do tell, do tell. Oh, so well, I was doing, uh, what was it, about 55 down the road with a 30 uh, mile an hour speed limit. And I turned around a corner and then realised why there was the 30 mile an hour speed limit. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> so there, there in front of me, the level crossing, the um, the uh, the uh, the barriers were down. The train was going past. I was braking like mad. Fortunately, the train got past and the barriers went up before I got there because I wasn't stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, that's that is one thing that amuses me about this game. Is you've noticed that the um, the barriers seem to be made out of collapsium or you know something equally indestructible. Mm. Adamantium. Yeah. 
because I'm cooking. cooking. Yeah. <laughs> My cooking, yeah. Uh, no, I've I've hit I've hit one of those eighty miles an hour and completely totaled my uh, my lorry, and uh, it's just stayed there going. Yeah, okay. What, what about <laughs> it? Uh, you know, I've just been hit by twenty five tons worth of potatoes, but you know, who cares? I had something similar happen during the hundred episode live stream. That was interesting because uh, Watson, the good old brother of mine, Watson, decided to rear end me and push me into a <laughs> lamp post. I got taken to 100% straight away, and the lamppost was like, Come on then, come on, I'll have you, it's just a flash wound, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, quite quite amazing how that works out. Yeah, I've knocked over signposts quite happily. Yes. Now, when I started to play this game, barely a corner signpost survived, but... Uh, so it's probably a good thing those weren't indestructible. I might not have made my first mile. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Yes. So many toll roads in Europe, bloody hell. Yes. You have to pay £63, really? For the privilege of driving on your stupid shitty road? Well, I don't know. I mean, you, you know, I've seen the M6, I've travelled across the M6, where you pay a little bit of money for the privilege of parking on the road, so... Yeah, this is true. Good old M6. <laughs> the roadworks apparently will be finished by spring 2015. I highly doubt it. Yeah. I don't know about you, but the ones up by Birmingham in particular, they've been there for about five years at least. They're never going to be done. Yeah, and I, I know the feeling. I mean, there's, 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 there's one or two roadworks down here that have actually started to form small communities around Ooh. them. We're talking like with porter cabins and travellers. Well, actually, I think they've moved through the shanty town level, and now they're starting to make brick buildings. You know, sort of the communities, third generations worth of uh, road workers. Welcome working to Dale on Farm, them. the second coming. Mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. I was fairly certain I was speeding. I was fairly certain those were cameras, but uh, I'm fairly certain I didn't get caught. That's really always good. good. It's always good. Absolutely. Mm, the lack of speed is going to slow me down somewhat. I've been we've been driving for about 15 minutes roughly, and I've only knocked three hours off my total travelling distance. This is going to dig some damn. I think it is. You're right. Yes, and I'm starting to get to the other end of that uh, 150 odd miles worth of uh, fuel, and starting to wonder where the petrol stations are. Well, they're the in ones fact, in your sat nav with the green icon with a petrol pump in them. <laughs> yes. Yes, and I'd be I'd be far more relieved if I could actually see one. That's no, he's short of petrol. Let's hide the petrol stations. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here for a second and There's have a one there, look. one right there, one there as well. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't realise you could yes. hear that. You know what we've been in the sky course. Say that for the benefit of my guys at home. Yeah. Quick, quick, remove them. Sorry, slight degree right. of smug, and I filled up at the last station anyway. Well, I filled up at the last station, but by the looks of it, the last station was in Birmingham. Was yeah, that long ago, eh? <laughs> it feels that way. Uh, it's, uh, actually, that's, that's one of the frustrations about this game, is that it, uh, it's, it's sleeping, for example. Um, yeah, I, I, It does frustrate me when you've, you're, you're, you're about 100 miles into uh, past your sleeping limit and uh, thinking, you know, there's a side of a road there. You know, I could just pull up on the side of the road and have a nap. In fact, I would. The amount of drivers that do that for real. But you can't. Yes, absolutely. I mean, personally, that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to robot cars, because as far as I'm concerned, the, the best thing to do with a car journey Are is... Are you thinking like minority, minority Report style, where you just tell the car where you want to go and it takes care of it for you? That would be absolutely. quite cool. That would be no, no, actually better. Cool, I am right. legend star because you can take over by just saying manual control and you just go whoop, with the steering wheel and you go rah, 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 everywhere. Well, then you got the Legion <laughs> of attack robots. So actually, no, maybe that's not the best way. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, let's face it. Any journey is sp spiced by a Legion of attack robots. But then, then you'd have the choice of which attack robots would you go for. Would you go for the humanoid? Um, what were they, what were they actually called for a Mayam robot? Did you watch that? 
a long time ago, but um, I read the book, which didn't have any attack robots. Something tells me book. they were called the Nexus Fives. Or, or, or maybe I'm just thinking of my phone, because that's a Nexus Five. Well, I don't know. I mean, let's face it. My Nexus Seven is is showing every signs I want to take over the planet. So. Uh, Android, good old Google app. Oh yes. Uh, no, the, the, the if I remember right, the Nexus were Blade Runner, weren't they? That was a good one. A good film. A bit messed up at the end with the guy sticking his head through the walls and howling everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that was a, that was, a, that was a touch off the wall, but uh, Rutger Howard playing Rutger Hauer, which let's face it, Rutger Hauer only ever played Rutger Hauer, and he did it so well. You know, I'm tempted to watch it at some point. I haven't seen it for a long time. Twelve Monkeys. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a very um, head twisty film. That. Hmm. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that one. Sometimes you just can't beat the oldies. Hmm. Like, say, for example, my darling of a half Murta. She is a big fan of Alfred Hitchcock. Well, Not my choice. cup of tea, personally. But ah. yeah. Well, I, I really I can understand that. They are getting a bit dated these days, aren't they? Well, they were getting dated when I was well, a child. Always saying that. There's one. <laughs> there's, um, the, gen the gentleman that does North by Northwest. I'm trying to think who he is. Can't remember off the top of my head. But that's a good film. And there's also... Mm, I yeah. think it's the same guy with Marilyn Monroe, Some Like It Hot. I like that. And not for the obvious reasons either, although that's a nice oh, bonus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's good films. Uh, sometimes you do have to move with the times. You do. Yes. Oh, sometimes the times are moved for you. Go on. I just thinking about uh, I, I just think a number of conversations I've had over the years about people saying you know um, so and so song that was uh, done by yeah you know, uh, this 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 famous song which was done by the um, the the Strictly Come X Factor winner and you're thinking no it wasn't it was done by Janis Joplin you're an idiot uh yeah I think I've got I find, mm. I think I've finally reached the age now Simon where I'm listening to songs and I'm thinking. This was a cover years ago, and my parents used to tell me yes. off for liking it because it was a cover of something they listened to when they were when they were kids. Yes, and it's I, I'm I, that's that's the thing I think I think as, as I'm getting older I'm starting to under, the, understand the frustration of yeah okay you like this song it's a great song and you're every right to like this song because it's a great song but I got to be honest with you the one that was made twenty years ago by someone who could actually sing. It's so much better. <laughs> oh, on the note of singing, my, my other half has this strange habit for watching X Factor, and I don't know why. She doesn't know why, but she does it. And she says that this year's talent is even worse than ever, but she still watched it. I'm like, why then? Why? Because it's got the beauty about Andrea. <laughs> well, I, I put a lot of it down to uh, the fact it's like um, you know, tra traffic accidents. Which I haven't caused one, which is quite a change for a driver this length. Uh, everybody has to slow down and look. Yes, actually, I, I, what I'm, tr I'm sitting here thinking I want to say I've never done that, but I have actually slowed down past a few traffic accidents that I've seen just to see what's actually happened. As humans, we have yeah, this sick well, morbid it's... curiosity, don't we? I swear. Yes. Yeah, and you know, in fact, that 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 uh, sick morbid curiosity is um, related to the fact that we want to watch again just to make sure that Bruce Forsyth oh. is still alive. How is he still going? Um, uh, animatronic. Oh, I think. on a old people still going note. There's a strong rumor doing the rounds that during this year's Queen's speech, she's apparently going to abdicate. Is there? I was just uh, reading up on it last night. A lot of bookies have suddenly taken a lot of mm. bets about this going to be happening, and they've decided, oh, actually, we're just going to stop all bets on it. And they're saying there's no smoke about a fire, and in a sense, I see where they're coming from. Yeah, well, I, I can see, I can see that a little bit, but quite frankly, I've, I've for a long time thought that the only way they're going to get the uh, uh, crown out of her hands is with a crowbar. 
I think that's the way it should be. She shouldn't be advocating. It's not her fault she hasn't died. Yes. She's doing a great job. And why does Charles want to be king? Just because... It's something I was born to do. I'd like to be the king before I die, please. There's any... I can't do Charles's accent. It, it's, it's... It's more like this, isn't it? When he talks to his plants. That was no good, was it? <laughs> <laughs> that was no good whatsoever, but very, very enjoyable. Thank, Thank you very you much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of something very, very enjoyable. My people are now going to get to see me try to park. Now, do you remember that bit I was saying about yes. me not having a license? Just think about how much parking experience I've okay, had. Okay, left years. hand down. Yeah? Left hand down, mm. and straighten up, and then go. If he's actually doing that at home now, boys and girls, and those that yet to decide, I'll. So amazed. <laughs> so, yeah, the last time I did this in this particular company, it took me about 15 goes to uh, get this parked. So, let's see how many, as as how many I do this time. Lock took him about ooh, half an hour, and we were just so bored. We just drove circles around him waiting. We were just. <laughs> that was a good day. Lock, if you're watching this, I'm not sorry in the slightest. I've got to be honest with you, Locke, um, you know, it was a bit embarrassing. Oh, you were there, weren't you? At least I've got an excuse, yes. I mean, at least I've got an excuse of being completely bloody useless at this because I have no practice in it whatsoever in a real-life situation. And it all goes quiet while Simon concentrates on parking. <laughs> How are you doing? Talking through to me. Yeah. I can't see anything, obviously. I am about 50% of the way onto the parking area and I'm going to do that usual thing which I'm, I'm desperately going to try backing up just to see if it's good enough. It's a very generous parking it's not. zone, isn't it, when you try to get the position of parking. Yeah. And fortunately this is one of the easier places oh, to park as well. Is it like well. one of those LKW yards with a great big open side? Um, He's coming up yes. the road and straight away is there. Ah, uh, I know which one you're on about. Yep. No, that's two. Backs up and it wasn't quite good enough. I will get to there. I'm sure you will. Take place your bets now, guys. What will happen first? Simon parking or mod finishing his job? And please bear in mind that Mod's job takes him all the way across Europe. I've got another nine hours to go, apparently. Um, there's a fairly good chance that you're going to be the one oh, to get I there don't first. Know about that. Like we've been going for nearly half an hour now. Time flies. Yes. I was hoping to get this up for tomorrow. I don't know about that now. Yeah. Um, well, at. Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> okay. I think I'm on about um, reverse attempt number five now. I wish I could give you some advice, but without actually seeing what you're experiencing yourself, it's very hard of them just to say if this trailer goes this way, do that, if it goes that way, go this. Mm. Uh, so I'll just sit here, let you figure it out for yourself, and laugh at your um, misery. <laughs> what? Done. Oh, screw you, old man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to say screw you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go for the multiplayer, old man. <laughs> I was, I was, I was more offended by the old man, to be honest really? with you. Okay, oldish man. That yes. Was yeah, that so was. You're only that ten year right. on me. It's not that old, so don't take too much offence. Jeez. Yeah. Well, no, I don't take no offence well, at all. Really, I think sorry. you'd be more offended if I oh. called you young man. You'd be like, really? Don't lie. Go away. Horrible, yeah. horrible whippersnapper, you. And one thing I've learned over over the years is anyone who calls me young man is after something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something I'm starting to experience. Even though, even though <laughs> I'm going to start being condescending about something I'm doing wrong. Yeah. So where are you at the moment, good sir? I shall have to probably pause and find out. Uh, it's good. No, you cannot do that. Firstly, stop. Firstly, stop your truck. Oh. Okay. Mm. I forget we're actually still technically on the server, aren't we? Technically, yeah. And it's, it's worth pointing out that, uh, in all fairness, I don't believe the developers of this have English as their first language. No, I think they're Mexican, actually. 
why they're doing a Euro Truck Simulator mod? Dunno, but uh, hey. Right, I've reached Berlin and I'm, I'm heading south towards Leipzig. I'm, cur Ooh, I'm right. currently on the Autobahn 9, if that makes any sense. It does, yes. You are actually uh, quite close to me at the moment. I'm in Nuremberg. Where are you heading to again? It's Stuttgart, isn't it? Yes. I shall drive over there and meet you there. Assuming we can get on to the server. <laughs> <laughs> See if I got a job going in that way first, but... Uh... Uh, doing, doing Poznan, Graz. And, of course, the answer to that is no. Let's just go for a drive. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. With the snow and the sun and the really cold wind beside the seaside. Beside the sea. Okay, well, that nice shiny five pound note you're going to get for not singing. Looks like I'm keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to get five pounds anyway. It costs more <laughs> to ship it here. <laughs> uh, Plus also, you know, this time of year, I wouldn't want to take your hard earns off you. Ah, oh, I, I, th I think it's worth uh, pointing out as a, as a, as a Euro, tr uh, uh, um, as a Euro truck simulator. I was just about to say, as a, as a programmer. Oh, there we go. That's my third red signal offence in a row. Uh, as a programmer, um, I try very hard to make sure that uh, my hard-earned cash is as easily earned as possible. You goddamn computer techie sorts, God. Well, once upon a time I worked for the Forestry Commission. Then I thought, you know what? I'm sick of getting rained on. You got bored of working outside, or metaphorically speaking? Um, I got, I, I didn't like, uh, I didn't like the job, and, uh, yeah, I was, I basically, it, it, it was it was midwinter. I was sick of getting rained on, and uh, thought, you know what? I actually would rather do a job where I'm thinking for a living. So, but then I went into programming and just stopped thinking, basically. Yeah. yeah. So what, let's actually stop at these lights rather than getting a a penalty for. Maybe I should report you to the admins. What number is above your truck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, this is so much easier if you don't have to worry about the other, other the rest of the traffic, isn't it? So much easier. It's... Why isn't there an option in normal vanilla Euro truck to turn off the traffic? I don't know. Not that that would be much fun, because part of the fun is negotiating the traffic. Yes. Uh, um, yeah, a lot of the fun is, you know, as I as I found out the hard way for it is is going around the corner at the speed limit and finding a, a car coming on your lane the opposite direction, and basically driving over it, yeah. and then swearing for about thirty minutes afterwards. It's very cathartic. You know, just get all that frustration out your I system. I never had you as a man of bad language. I mean, I'm even trying to bite my tongue now out of respect for the fact I don't think you do much swearing on your own channel. I don't. See, I see. That's me being respectful, right? That. Yes. I want to give you something you can't <laughs> use. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> I, I do tend to put up you know, a message that saying, "This was recorded with Team Tuxedo. Expect naughty words." Really? Yes. Yeah. Not that I mind. <laughs> in my defence, I spent I, a life, or well, not a lifetime, a working lifetime, shall we say, working in. Hostile environments, warehouses, kitchens, and to me, they're no longer swear words, they're just normal vocabulary. But I have yeah. to just rein it back every now and again and go, actually, other people out there do see them as bad words, so just... Nah. Yes. Personally, I'm not offended by people swearing, I just don't do it. I don't do it very often. But when I start... Oh yes, when I start... If you can sound a bit like that buddy of mine was, I can't have DF. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, I, I occasionally let go. I think, the I think he's coming back over to the UK next year. Yay! Uh, I heard a rumor of that set, uh, that effect as well. I eek 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 eek. Have you run over a school of mice? <laughs> Worse. I was I was too busy thinking about uh, a, a a certain person coming to this country. That I forgot to turn. 
This is never a good thing. Especially when it's uh, one of those collapsium barriers in front of you. So I've just done another 5% of damage to But Nitra. the mice are okay. Mm. But the mice are okay. The mice, the mice will survive with minor injuries. Good to hear, good to hear. Hmm. Yes, um, I, I, I heard a rumour to that effect as well, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I can um, get my passport out and come up north when a that passport. happens. Do you live in Cornwall or something? <laughs> <laughs> Not that far away from it, no. <laughs> Where do I want to go? I want to go right. Saying that, though, Cornwall is a lovely part of the world. It is a very nice if part I could have, of the world. If I had the money, I'd have a holiday home there. It'd be empty for 11 mm, months yes. of the year, but the other month, oh yeah. Mm, I'll probably spend yes. three weeks cleaning it up and then one week packing that fiddle away again. <laughs> um, I do, I do love that part of the world. Uh, one of the one of the places I've enjoyed living the most is Bristol, and the the area oh, around that. Okay. Um, Funny you mention Bristol because um, living in Stafford, we have to go through Bristol for more or less to get to Cornwall. And every time yes. we've gone through Bristol, people say you need to leave at six in the morning or something stupid because if you get Bristol traffic jams, you're screwed. So yes. every time I've been to Cornwall, every time we've been to Western Supermare or down south or anywhere like that, ooh, excuse me, um, we've been expecting traffic jams, nothing. So I think, okay, let's just leave normal time. Then we got stuck in Bristol for two hours. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, I used to uh, live in Willsbridge, which is quite literally just on the outskirts of Bristol. In fact, the house I lived in had Bristol on one side and nothing on the other side. Yeah, it's just ooh. farmland. Uh, um, I, uh, when working in Bristol, I would find some days it was actually quicker to walk than take the bus. It's about uh, about a five five mile journey. Blimey! Possibly a little bit longer than that. And some days, yeah, it was quicker to walk. That's um, impressive, shall we say? Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not really Bristol's fault, it's just the, 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 the city centre infrastructure has never been up to the number of people that live there. Yeah, possibly when you were um, travelling into Bristol meant um, flagging down a horse and carriage, but certainly not now. Back in day. Back in day, yeah. Well, I think that's a little bit more than back in day, but... Uh, 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 no, it's a really, really nice city there. And if you ever get the chance to stop and just go through the centre and just get the ambience, and uh, it's it's well, well worth it. In fact, I've got I've got a Minecraft build in mind that I've I've been planning for about uh, two or three months now, which is basically based upon a, a, a few of the buildings I used to walk past on the oh, way into right. work in the morning. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, 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 a an entire fishing village, and the style is going to be along the lines of yeah the, the stuff that Fix has done on the Strangeland service. You mean the multicolored houses? Yeah. Oh yes, um, but based upon um, some existing houses by the river in Bristol, as I used to walk past every day. I am now the master. I've leveled up to level Yay! twenty. <laughs> Some way to go, you have, young Padawan. Yes, I, I, I have this irresistible urge now to kill the uh, Ed Gallifreyans. But uh, apart from that, uh, I mean, I, I've proved my complete incompetence at driving to everybody who watches my channel. Lands all foolish enough to load this up, but I'm still the master. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bloody dark, isn't it? It's the one thing about the multiplayer server yes. I'm not overly keen on. It's, it seems to progress in real time. Which is silly, because it's telling yeah. me it's now three minutes to eight. And it's pitch black. Apart from the great big disco ball. Yeah, um, it, I think it's probably an effect of the server crash. It's not advancing the time anymore. But... Uh, Oh, okay. You okay there, eh, boy? Yes. Dare I ask? 
I think I found the screenshot for today. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember the, the what's the screenshot key in yeah. Eurotruck Simulator. F12. Oh, you've got to bring up the. the yeah, I think Fraps is arguing that. Okay, what I'm going to do is switch to photo ah, mode. that's always I like photo mode. I do. It's a little weird to use at first, but when you get the hang of it, the controls are actually quite intuitive. Yes. But this, I think anyone who's seeing my screen at the moment will say, you know, this is one hell of a Have screenshot. you crashed your truck? No. I just got the perfect view of the oh, disco ball. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I'm apparently. Yeah, there. Now my ETA keeps on dropping all the while. I've, I was misreading something. I've got four hours forty-two to go to my destination. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, actually, that's that's a a touch buggy as well. I've noticed. Oh, let's turn. Mirrors and sat nav. Ah, I see oh. Nuremberg on my sat nav just popped up. Alright. You're probably closer to uh, there than I then. Where are you going to be heading, sorry? I was, I was ah. heading towards Stuttgart. In fact, let's actually just check that to make 100% sure. Yep, yeah, I'm right. Yep, I'm doing going right for Stuttgart. I'm just paranoid when it comes to maps. Did you hear something then? So I think nope. the other half's attacking the cats, or well, maybe the cats are attacking her. <laughs> ah, oh, when it comes to kittens, sometimes it's hard to tell. And then I give it a couple of minutes, and she'll come charging in here. Can't you hear what I'm telling you? No, my studio is soundproof. I can't hear anything. You know this. Then she'll come in, rant and rave, and then she'll walk off again. I'm like, okay, fine, but my studio is soundproof. Go away, you horrible person. Hmm. A soundproof studio. It sounds like the secret it's of a long and happy marriage. not even been designed this way. It's just filled with junk that absorbs all the noise. <laughs> pile of magazines here, <laughs> pile of model kits there. It's all good. Yeah. Unless you're standing uh, right by uh, the door, in which case then uh, you can hear somebody on the other side of the thin wooden flimsy thing shouting through. Hmm. Uh, that's, uh, the thin wooden flimsy thing sort of de defeats the whole object, but uh, uh, it's it's going to be interested to see you doing one of these one days, and the cats have decided what they really, really, really need is your attention. Oh, they right interrupted now. a recording I did yesterday, Watson. I record. I was recording um, a pink version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no, it doesn't even begin to cover it. It's something he challenged me to do a long time. There's a trilogy of hacks for Sonic 1, 2 and 3, all using Amy Rose with subtle-ish pink alterations. And it was about Labyrinth Zone on Sonic 1 when the cats decided to break into the room and Watson spent most of his time trying to retrieve said cats and get them out. <laughs> Yes, but you don't understand. I want to be there. I've got to be there. I must be there. I don't know why, but I must be there. Oh, we know this, but what about the cats? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. The cats as well. I'm just, I, I, I do get into their mind quite easily. I know what you mean, man. I, just, I thought I'd go for a cheap joke, damn it. Yeah, so I just empty my own of all thoughts. It seems to work. I found the best way to remove cats from a situation is to... Um, well, let's say we've got a cellar, right? And they go down to the cellar when I go down to, the, to get a cold drink out. Oh, the cellar's brilliant this time of year for that, I tell you. But anyway, Absolutely. the cats will come yes. down with me. And then I can't get them out. So I just shut the door. All of a sudden, oh no, we're stuck, we're stuck, let us out, let us out. Okay. Yeah. Out come. Thank you. There's a, there's a door here, I must be on the other side of it. Uh, actually, you reminded me of a, a cat that I, uh, well, my flatmate used to own when I was at uh, college. It was called Cosmic. Wonderful little cat. Used to sit on my shoulder and read the newspaper with me in the morning. Ooh, shoulder cat. Awesome. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. The, the, a shoulder cat is a wonderful thing. 
but um, one thing it would do was eat off of plates oh. right up to the day when I made a very 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 hot curry Ooh. I think it took about three days to get the cat off the ceiling <laughs> oh dear Uh, you know, I don't think my driving skills are up to doing this and talking at the same time which is probably going to result in another amusing crash for everyone uh, sorry to disappoint everyone uh, uh, No, um, you get used to it it, it does come <laughs> with time I mean, I'm mean, i assuming you're not going to be doing Euro Truck regularly on your channel I should imagine I should imagine not to be honest with you I mean, perhaps we'll have another one of these chatty sessions I'd down the line to. you know how I roll with that and Yes, and perhaps you know, I, I'm going to get loads and loads of comments now saying, "Oh my God, that was fantastic!" But that's probably. And to the a person who says I've got a nice voice. Hi, my name's Mars. How you doing? My number is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have her. She's my follower. Mine. I don't want her. I just want her number. And her body and her soul. <laughs> her eternal soul. Uh, if this is the person I think it is, um, uh, thank you once again for making me those wonderful skins. I think that was the person. My, the, the, my, new, Minecraft, uh, my new Minecraft skins. Um, there was the one, the one I was wearing for the the ultra hardcore, which everyone found so amusing. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm wearing a Christmas version. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you, uh, you do it for the fans still. here, right? I mean, if it wasn't for my lot, I wouldn't be wearing this Christmas livery thingy. Yeah. Or be involved with anything. Uh, yes. All I have to say is, screw you, Locke. Screw you. And Watson. Actually, actually, that was when I first started watching your videos, was when uh, Matilda was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember how you were so happy about well, that. Well, what started you with, with YouTube, anyway? I mean, I noticed when we first hooked up, you were probably just about starting. And, about and now, right, look yes. at you. You've, um, you've done phenomenally well. You're a master of self-promotion. You, you, I'm quite jealous. Um, yeah, well, you've just described me as a publicity whore. Thank you very much. Which is probably actually close to the truth. Mm, to be publicity with you. whore uh, is such a strong expression because it's only one step away from attention whore, which you're clearly not. And uh, attention whores are just no, go away, bad attention. <laughs> yeah. Um. I t actually, what started me off doing YouTube, funny enough, was getting into Kerbal Space Program, which is an absolutely fan. Fantastic game, but oh so slow. And you know, in that forty-five minutes it takes to actually launch something, get it in a proper orbit, and uh, uh, get the orbital insertion sorted out, and do this, do that, and the other. I started watching YouTube videos to uh, to pass the time, and doing that, start to think, you know what, that actually looks like fun. I think I'll do that myself. And the rest, as they say, was a complete disaster. <laughs> it's not too much bad fun, is it? It's not bad, is it? Doing this video malarkey? No. No, it's good fun. You get to meet some new people. I made a lot of new friends while doing it. And, uh... I, you know, anybody who's got the vaguest interest in doing it should make at least one video. Just to see what they think about it. Yeah, actually, I can agree with that. Why not? Yeah. While making that video, they should link to my channel. <laughs> apart from that... There you go, you're at it again. Self-publicity. <laughs> right, I'm in Sidguard. 40 miles, you, one hour out. I'm making good time, okay. considering I'm stuck to... Oh no, 40 mile an hour, now we're going uphill. Hey, right, back down hill again. Oh dear. How, how heavy is your cargo? something... 25 tons worth of digger. Z. Oh. Yeah, I can see that would slow you down a bit. 30 miles. Really making the time up now, bloody hell. Mmm. Yeah, find a patch of Ooh, ice. Get that reminds me, does that mean... Mr. Simon Parsons, you're here at a nice, important-ish threshold. I've hit 40,000 miles. Oh, 
Ooh, Thank well you, done, sir. Well done. Uh, by comparison, everyone can look here. I'm. Oh, I'm about eight hundred and forty mile, eight hundred and forty-one miles away from twenty thousand. Hey, 000. happy days. Yes. Well, four percent down for me. Ninety-six to go. Before I do the whole million miles. <laughs> oh dear. It's only <laughs> taken me what? Um, Fifteen? No, eighteen. Twenty-one months. Twenty-one months. Yeah. Just under two years to get here. Mm. I, I, I remember doing the calculations for you on how long it would take you to do the million miles and uh, well I think basically you will be sat in your retirement home uh, finishing this off I've got to, that's probably going to be completely depressing for you to hear but so hey, well I think done. this is a good chance to try and re-log and um, maybe enter under the power of the servers rather than doing it offline that sounds like a good opportunity. Right, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to pull over then and do the same. I see Stuttgart on my sat-nav now. It's definitely that. Where's it sending me? It's not sending me to Stuttgart. Oh, it's sending me to the south entrance by the look of it. Anyway, I'm re-logging. Okay, see you in a sec. Stop!